Hi guys, uh, my name is Chrissy O'Malley. I'm your physics teacher. And I want to just get you guys started quickly on our first lab that we're going to try to do. We're going to use it based on something called a pendulum. And so when you get on the website, you'll be able to see uh, this little pendulum hanging here and you'll be able to make it swing back and forth. And you can change things about this, um, which we'll get to in a second. But first we're going to make some observations. So one thing we're going to notice is that there is, um, there is a rhythm to this. And a rhythm, in case you're not familiar with that word, means that it's moving in a pattern that's very regular. It takes about the same amount of time between those beats. It's like music. So that's what rhythm is. And so we can make some changes to this pendulum. If I stop it swinging, I can hit this little stop sign and I can change the length. So it changes, it makes it a little bit longer. If I do the same thing, I can pull back and let it go. And it seems like it's moving at a little bit of a different rate. We're not going to worry about rates for now, um, but we can just watch this thing go back and forth. And it turns out that using these little, these online tools is really interesting because it shows us a lot of things that would be really challenging to measure otherwise. You'll notice if you look up at the top, it's showing us the angle where it swings. You can actually choose the angle. So that's something that could be a variable. It's something that you could alter about this. Swing back and forth. If you click the tools in the lower corner, um, you can get a ruler, a stopwatch, or this thing that's called period trace, and it just draws a line that shows us back and forth where this pendulum is going. I can time the how long it takes. If I try to time this so that I hit it at the peak where it's the farthest away from that center line, um, I can measure that. And that's what's called the period, the amount of time. I can measure how long the pendulum is. Um, I'm going to give you guys a tip. This is kind of, when I do this one with students, I don't tell them this tip right off the bat. But when you measure the length of a pendulum, you want to measure all the way to the bottom of the mass. That's going to give you your, your best data. Otherwise, it's not going to come out the way that you expect it to. So what you guys are going to do today is look for... And this is the first thing that, that you want to write down in your new lab notebook. I would put this on page five. Um, you want to write down some observations first, those things we talked about earlier, and replay the video if you need to. That there's rhythm, that there's a set amount of time, that there are variables that we can change. But what you're going to do in your lab is look for uh, what is the relationship between pendulum pendulum length and periodicity. So that's our question. That's the question that we're going to answer today. Um, the way that you're going to do it, and you might do it differently than each other, and that's okay. What you're going to do is change the length of your pendulum, and in response to that, measure the time. So you're going to need several different lengths, and you're going to put this into a table. So your table, let's see if I can switch this up. So your table that you're going to create is going to look something like. Pendulum length, which our ruler here is in centimeters, so this is going to be centimeters. And you're going to make this table so that it has pendulum length and period, which will be measured in time or seconds. So you're going to choose several different lengths and measure the periodicity with that. I would, go, I would go with at least five. So what your task is for today is use this simulator to create a data table that's gonna answer that question. What's the relationship between those two things? Um, the next step is gonna be making a graph. If you'd like to go ahead and make a graph and show it to me, I think that that would be fantastic and I'd be really excited to see that. I hope that you guys are having a great day and that you stay safe and you be well. I hope I see you soon. Bye.